go to the second ingredient. It's a very important ingredient for curing. Nitrite. Nitrite. This one. This one is nitrate. Okay. Nitrite is used in meat products for the following reasons. Nitrite improves flavor. Okay. So you eat uh, sausage, you know, sausage, cooked sausage, hot dog. You are very used to the flavor of nitrite. I don't know how to describe, but you are used to it already. And very important function as well is nitrite have formed the cute pink color. It's called cute pink color of the food after cooking. You see the color of hot dog? Yes, this is mainly with the effects of nitrite. If you look at the ingredient of the hot dog, you see there they list nitrite. Nitrite also is an antioxidant, so it can retard somehow the rancidity, the fat. Good, okay. Also good. Nitrite is antimicrobial, so it reduces microbial growth. Especially, nitrite is very effective against clot DDA. Again, Clotidium botulinum. So if you use nitrites correctly, properly, you can reduce the risk of Clotidium botulinum. It's a food poisoning caused by Clotidium botulinum. It's a toxin. toxin. Neurotoxin. It's very dangerous that we have been talking quite a lot in Vietnam last several months, right? And then it can have extend shell line of the product. Shell line of not sterilized product. But if, if you sterilize, you don't need nitrite. Because if you do sterilize properly, you already destroy Clotrimum uh, botulinum. So nitrite is very helpful, right? However, what do you need to care? Under certain conditions, if we use nitrite, more than enough, but you do not control very well the processing, the further processing at home, there may be the risk of formation of nitrosamides, a component in the meat, in the cured meat products, which is carcinogenic. It's proof this may cause cancer. Okay, we will discuss nitrosamide in some next slide. Here is the ham. This ham is with the use of nitrite. This ham is without nitrite. Sausage. This sausage is with the use of nitrite. With sausage, no nitrite. Here is the uncured meat. It's the cube with nitrite, pink color. Here is during chopping. During chopping of meat to obtain an emulsion of meat. Without using nitrite, the emulsion look like this. Nitrite like this. This is a special uh, essential step to make hot dog. To make yaloa, you need to do chopping. We will also discuss in the other chapter. Okay, we can skip this slide. You can read at home. Here is a myoglobin in muscle, in blood, in muscle. When it react with nitrite, here you have ferrin 2 plus. And you have nitric oxide, here it's become 3 plus, and the color is brown. And this one is called met myoglobin. Okay, and then somehow it can be converted into this one. The nitric oxide outside now will link with the ferrin inside, and you call this nitrosomet myoglobin, and the color is brown. Under the absence of oxygen, reduction condition, no oxygen, ferrin 3 become ferrin 2, and the color is red, and this is called nitric oxide myoglobin. And now under cooking, now you heat this product, you have this one. Uh, this protein is denatured, so it's unfolded. Unfolded, là mở mặt ra. Yes, and then you have this one, the protein become denatured, 
you have nitro nitroso hemochrome the pink color this is a component which is responsible for pink color of heated killed meat products okay it can be here or it can be here but you remember this name nitroso hemochrome this is a component responsible for pink color of cooked killed meat product kill with nitrite cook mean heated kill meat product kill with nitrite you add nitrite and you have this is a responsible component for the color this is also more or less similar explanation how it changed into the stable red or stable pink color some books say pink some other books say red no problem okay we already discussed the main roles, the main function of nitrite, and now we're going to discuss some detail more. But preservative action of nitrite. Preservative. What is preservative? In Vietnamese, it means chắc bảo quản. Preservative means additive to function, to reduce the growth of microorganisms, to reduce the oxidation, means to improve oxidative stability. If the additive doing this job, we call it we call them preservative. Preservative action means either reduce the growth microorganism or reduce the oxidation. Preservative act effects is due to mainly the residual nitrite content in the products. When the residual nitrite content in the product approaches zero during storage, the amount of nitrite is going down time to time. When it approaches to zero, then the spoilage will be initiated. We start. Micro can then start to grow. Bacon with satisfactory commercial shell life is given by the following combination. If you use salt high like this, you don't need nitrite. If you use less salt, you need 75, for example, ppm of nitrite to have similar cell life. Preservative action. For cooking meat products, part of the initial nitrite content is lost when we do the cooking. When we do the cooking, based on different cooking condition, heating condition, we may lose 30 to 70 percent of the amount that we add in. So this also we need to care. Further loss occurs slowly during storage. When we do nitrite, we need to care about the toxicity. They are good, of course good, they have at a loss, but if we don't know how to manage, if we don't use properly, if we don't control carefully, we may get issues, problems, because they are additive, okay? They have toxicity. Why nitrite have toxicity or toxic? Because nitrite itself, in moderate doses is toxic everything is toxic what differentiate either is toxic or not toxic the the dose is important for some chemical it's become toxic at very low dose for other chemicals become toxic at higher dose the dose is important here uh, nitrite in moderate doses is toxic means that the toxicity is not in the most toxic component in the the moderate group the lateral dose what is lateral dose mean the dose that when we consume one time we may die is one gram per adult why nitrite is toxic because nitrite react with the hemoglobin in the blood it's like the way it reacts in the red meat. Because in our blood, we also have hemoglobin. Nitrite can react with this one. In UK, only the following salt are permitted. Sodium or potassium. Sodium means like this. Potassium means K. Kali in Vietnamese. Okay. Sodium and potassium nitrate. Sodium and potassium nitrite. These are the four salts which are allowed to be used in food. Sodium nitrate, potassium nitrate, 
or nitride and then you have e number okay for each salt you have one e number e means an additive it needs to be controlled very well the dose that we use okay these are the permitted levels of nitrate and nitride in Q mix in UK. So you have different meat products. How much? If you use total nitrate and nitride together, these are the allowed doses that you use, allowed levels that you can use. If you use nitride alone, this is the maximum. Allowed. Okay. When we use nitride, we don't add nitrite directly but we have to use them in form of nitrited salt nitrited salt here means that you add 0 0.6 percent of nitrite into sodium chloride into table salt you add them ahead into normal salt you mix them very well and then you use this salt, this nitrate salt, for processing of your food, then you may obtain okay amount of nitrite or nitrate. Why? Why you have to do it this way? Why we don't add nitrate or nitrate directly into the food when we do processing? Because if you add directly, for example, when you do chopping, like I told you, when you do chopping uh, a lot of meat, maybe like a hundred kilogram, and you only add several grams of nitrite, if you add directly, then there is a high chance that you don't have a uniform distribution of the additive. You add here and maybe they on, only stay here. So this part become overdose of nitrite. Why the other part become underdose of this additive? Which one is more dangerous, overdose or underdose? Okay, but they are both dangerous. Because overdose means that maybe become toxic when the concentration is so high. Underdose, then you don't have preservative effect, and then microorganisms grow. Maybe some pathogen will grow. You may also have issue. It's very important when we use an additive in food processing is we have to follow the rules. We have to follow the rule on appro approved dose level that we are allowed to use. And the second point we have to care is we have to be sure that they are distributed evenly in the food. Everywhere is the same. Okay, sodium nitrite in sodium chloride, 0.6% of sodium nitrite, and this is called Bragu salt. And then they have different names, commercial name for this salt. The second reason why nitrite is toxic, we discussed in previous slide, nitrite is toxic because nitrite itself is a toxic. And the second reason is in some condition, nitrite can react, this is nitrite, can react with secondary amine to form nitrosamine. And this is what, again? Carcinogen, carcinogenic component, which can cause cancer. So when you use more than enough nitrite, and in your meat product, you have secondary amine. This is secondary. This is an am amino group with two links. It's called secondary amide. In meat, you have this. And if you have a lot of nitrite, and if you heat, at high temperature, the temperature is high, especially for this product when you do frying. When you do frying and you use more than enough nitrite, sorry, more than enough nitrite, this reaction may occur and you, in the product, it may form nitrosamide. This is not good. This is formerly a problem in bacon, in the past, in bacon, but now they already know they already limit the use. The dose allowed is low. With meat and you fry or you bake, 
bake or fry like this, you also have a risk of formation of acrolamide. Uh, acrolamide when you fry French fries, for example, at high temperature and there is protein in the product, it may form acrolamide. This is also a carcinogen. So it means that if you eat meat and you always eat baked meat or fried meat, then your shell life may be shorter. You know, your shell life, I mean, how long you live in this earth may be shortened. So, because of the risk of nitrosamines, uh, the practical objective are therefore ensure that meat product contain yellow or minimum quantity of preformed nitrosamine yeah, uh, and yield yellow or minimum quantity of cooking. Restrict the amount of residual nitrite in meat products to a minimum technologically necessary. Use minimally when it's needed. Thus, we can restrict the quantity available to form nitrosamide upon cooking at home, for example. Just using up. The important cases in the past, nitrosamide form in frankfurter, similar sausages, in fried bacon, Nitrosamide formation may be reduced, this is good, by proper use of ascot base, ascot base from ascorbic acid or other antioxidant. Okay, so today you buy frankfurter sausages, hot dog, you look at the ingredient, you will see that they list their nitrite and they also use ascot base. Add got bait, uh, sometimes Erin thought back. Later on, you will see this name. Okay. So, for this reason, another reason. I guess. So, we should uh, warranty the restriction of residue nitrite content by the input content we should control by manufacturing processes. For example, heating can reduce some amount. We should do also take into account. Storage time and storage temperature. Normally, if the storage long storage time, then the concentration yield is higher. pH and product also influences to the changes of nitrite present at ascot bake, sulfur dioxide, and so on. Also influence the nitrite. Yes. So review before we go to nitrate. So what are the functions of nitrite? Flavor, antioxidant. Antimicrobial and stable pink color. So are the four main function of nitrite. In terms of antimicrobial, what group of microorganism that nitrite is very effective to? Clostridium. Okay. The group that's called that produce spore. And clostridium butylinum, for example, that produce toxin, which are toxins to the brain system. So all of them, all of these properties are very good. That's why nitrite is used quite a lot in food processing in many products. However, what do we need to care when we do uh, when we use nitrite? Toxicity. Why nitrite is toxic? When we use two ways, it can become toxic. First, nitrite itself is a toxic component at moderate dose. What is the lethal dose of nitrite? One gram. And what is the second reason it's become toxic? In some condition, it can react with secondary amide to form nitrosamide. It's a carcinogen. It's carcinogenic component. So we have to prevent those possibilities. By what? Only use when needed. And use, you follow strictly the food regulation on the permitted level, on the dough which are permitted to use. And when you use, you have to be sure that the chemical is distributed evenly in the food. And when you use, you have to consider other factors that may influence nitrite, like the heating. The salt storage time, storage, temperature, and you can use some antioxidant to reduce the formation of nitrosamine, like ascorbate.
can use in combination with ascorbate to lower the possibility that it can form nitrosamide. Okay, great. 